everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a really quick look at the 1986 Cobra Stun. And the Cobra Stun is kind of a bizarro looking vehicle from 1986. Um, it was sort of a replacement for the His Tank, or you might see it as a replacement for the Cobra Stinger. Uh, so it's uh, it's kind of a general uh, motorized vehicle uh, with some guns on it. It's, it's very unique. It's a three-wheeled vehicle, and it had these really uh, nicely sculpted Cobra uh, hubcaps, and these hubcaps are supposed to remain stationary as the vehicle rolls and the wheels spin around them. These stick a little bit, but you get the general idea. Uh, it does have rubber wheels, and that's kind of cool. Um, and the these gun pods here in the front have this split apart feature uh, where you can split them apart like that uh, and they will face you know opposite directions I guess if you need to fire in two directions at the same time I guess you can do that um, also kind of nice is that uh, the gun turrets do elevate and the seats on the inside of the pod also elevate with the cannon and that's a nice feature one thing to keep in mind about the cobra stun is the red plastic is very very fragile, especially these flags that are just just very thin red plastic there. The red is is uh, fragile anywhere on the vehicle, but the this is so thin that it will just break if you look at it funny. Uh, so you usually find these red flags broken. Uh, fortunately, this Cobra Stun is intact, and it has a different problem. It doesn't have any stickers. I will have to get some reproduction stickers for it, so it's not quite ready to review yet. The driver of the vehicle is the Motor Viper, and this is a figure in a mostly blue uniform uniform, the silver faceplate there. Uh, really not a bad look. It's got a contrasting color to the vehicle that he drives. Uh, and uh, this is not a bad figure. I do kind of like it. Uh, it may not be my favorite Cobra figure, but it's okay. Although I never intended to army build the Motor Viper, over time I have accumulated a few of them. They are not rare. You can easily pick them up on the aftermarket. And I like to have Motor Vipers manning every position on the Cobra Stun. This, of course, is the driver's seat here. A couple gunner's positions in the front, a gunner's position in the back, and, of course, there are foot pegs along the side, so you can have motor vipers riding along the running boards as well. Uh, and I just think that it looks good. I think it enhances the look of the vehicle to have those blue uniforms on it. Um, but uh, there's also a variant of the Motor Viper, and fortunately I also have the variant, so I'll look at that when I'm ready to review this vehicle. Really, it's just missing stickers. I've just got to get some stickers, and this thing will be ready to go. There will be a lot to say about the stun when we do the full review, but that's just a quick look at it now. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching, and check back this coming Sunday. There will be a new full review coming at you, so don't miss that. Thanks everyone for watching.